how do we know the current state of knowledge on a research topic? Unlike narrative literature reviews, systematic or integrative reviews reduce bias in the selection of sources and present a comprehensive strategy for reviewing research studies. Some systematic reviews also include a meta-analysis, or a statistical method for comparing and combining results to identify patterns in the literature. Overall, systematic reviews allow researchers to answer specific questions, such as, what is an effective treatment or solution to a problem? You can find systematic reviews in all kinds of journals and disciplines by searching for them in library databases. At CSUDH, you can find systematic reviews in a database called Cochrane Library. Cochrane is an international not-for-profit organization that produces high-quality systematic reviews for comparing treatments and medical decision-making. You can also use the systematic review filter in PubMed and some other library databases. If you're conducting your own systematic review, you'll want to create and document a comprehensive search plan for all literature that meets your predetermined criteria. You may also be asked to use the preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analyses, or PRISMA, guidelines to make sure your review is conducted using methods that others can replicate. First, identify your research topic or question. You may want to conduct some preliminary searching to find a topic that's not too broad or narrow. Otherwise, it may not be possible to cover all the literature, or you may not be able to find enough evidence to draw conclusions. For example, let's say you choose to research the effectiveness of virtual reality exposure therapy to treat anxiety. You also decide to include studies in English from the past five years. Next, develop your search strategy and locate studies. In addition to keywords, you may also use medical subject headings, or MESH, in PubMed and other databases like Medline. At this stage, it may be helpful to use free citation management software like Zotero, or create an account within a particular database to collect and organize your studies. In PubMed, select all your search results. Click on Send to Citation Manager and create a .inbib file. Then, open your Zotero library and go to File, Import, and find the file in your Downloads folder. If you've added the Zotero browser extension, you can also click on the folder icon at the top right of your browser. Select All, and your results will automatically save to your library. Now, let's try the same search in Medline. Use the Page option to display the full list of results, and follow the same steps to add your results to your Zotero library. Repeat these steps for any other databases you want to include. Once you've added all results to your Zotero library, go to the Duplicate Items section and merge the files to remove any duplicates. Then, depending on your systematic review criteria, screen each study abstract to determine if it's relevant to your specific question. You may want to add a note to document why you excluded a particular study before moving it to the trash. If you can't access the full text of an article through the library or interlibrary loan, you can exclude the study. Once you have your final number of included studies, critically appraise the evidence, extract and synthesize the data, and interpret and present your findings. Conducting a systematic or integrated review is time-intensive. If you have questions along the way, ask a librarian.